Hey everyone, David Burgess here with Keller Williams Realty and today we're discussing 55 plus communities in Florida but more specifically we are honing in and focusing on one specific area which is Tampa Bay, south of Tampa, Tampa City itself, north of Sarasota in South Hillsborough County. And this region really is Sun City Center which is a retirement city itself and it also has two awesome 55 plus communities on its doorstep which are technically in Waimama but they offer very different things. Now this area in general is just awesome for retirees or semi-retired people who are looking to wind down. It has awesome golf courses on your doorstep, lovely beaches, you're very accessible to great shops, to Tampa Airport, to Sarasota, an hour away from Disney. What is not to like about this area? If you're unfamiliar with it, stay tuned and I'm gonna walk you through the key points and show you exactly why this is such a lovely area to be. Okay, so let's start with Sun City. Now, I personally live 10 minutes away uh, from what you can see here right now in this footage. And by the way, I'm not a videographer by any means, and you can see that these clips are pretty amateur, but they were taken by yours truly, and I've tried to put them together as best as I can. But I'm hoping it gives you a very good overall feel for what Sun City is about. Very much a, a retirement area, very quiet, um, golf courses everywhere, picturesque Florida really, palm trees everywhere, very green, a very slow tempo of life, golf carts absolutely everywhere, you'll see them um, from, you know, from people just driving around or just going to the shops, which I'll cover in a minute, uh, but it's just, it's just a lovely area and for what it, ha it has, I mean, its location is just awesome. You really are, um, you know, you've got I-75, which is a five minute drive away, if that, 301, Highway 301 is the other side, and that is right on your doorstep. Uh, that can take you south to the Ellington Outlet Mall, which is 15 minutes away, um, and then beyond there is Bradenton and Sarasota, which has just so much on offer. Uh, and then Tampa in the other direction, which is about 25 minute drive, maybe 30 minutes without traffic. Um, and obviously, you know, if you were going in rush hour, it would be longer, but you just have awesome, you have awesome options on your doorstep. Whatever you're into, whatever your interests and passions are, you will find it in Sun City. Uh, I mean, the, the Sun City itself has like 200 plus different clubs there um, for whatever your passion or interest is. Um, you have four recreational facilities there, six golf courses. You have awesome shops right on your doorstep. There's a Publix, a Walmart, an Audi. You've got you've got a Wawa, all on this one corner of 301 and um, and 674. I mean, that's just the, the very uh, intersection right on your doorstep. And if you head the other way, there's Home Depot, there's many restaurants. You know, you've got everything that you really need right there. But if you want to venture out, you're also very, very close to so many great places around here in, um, in Tampa Bay and South Hillsborough County. What is there not to love about this area? Moving on to South Shore Bay. Now this new community is right up the street from Sun City Center, just past the Walmart, but it is considered Waimama and not Sun City Center. Now this is a Crystal Lagoon community, which might sound crazy, but there is like a 10 acre Crystal Lagoon, which is being built as we speak. And if you go to the website, lagoonsoon.com, www.lagoonsoon.com you will see exactly what is going to be on offer there and it is going to be a huge crystal lagoon community which is going to be um, for all of the residents that live in that um, in south shore bay um, but it may be also open to the public too they have built a very similar one up in wesley chapel which is about 45 minutes north up in Pasco County and they have opened theirs up to the public too. But what I love about this area um, for 
um, for anybody looking for a 55 and up community is that the, the community is, it's a gated community within the gated community. So you have your own clubhouse, as you can see here, with your own amenities for the 800 odd brand new homes that are being built by WCI um, right now, which is Lenar Homes Upper Brand. And you have, again, it's gonna be a golf, cor golf course community, golf cart community shall i say and um, and you're going to have your own clubhouse which is going to be separate from everybody else in the community but you do also have access to this huge 10 acre crystal lagoon so it's very very different um, again houses are going to range from about 200,000 to 300,000 depending on if you want a villa or if you want to be on a bigger um, single family home with possibly a three car garage but everything's going to be very brand you know it's going to be brand new going to have gorgeous granite countertops and brand new stainless steel appliances it's going to have great warranties throughout um, and it's just going to be a, a very good option for a new construction um, if you're looking for a 55 and up community very close to sun city but also within a stone's throw from this huge crystal lagoon which just looks phenomenal again lagoonsoon.com check it out it's in my mama and it is right on the doorstep of of an awesome retirement area and the other 55 community I really wanted to hone in on was Valencia Lakes and Valencia del Sol. These are right around the corner from South Shore Bay and Sun City and it's heading north on 301 just before you get to Riverview. Now Valencia Lakes is the more established neighborhood. It's gated again and it's, uh, it's man security 24 seven. Um, it's GL Homes are the builder that has built all of the homes in there. And it's about 1,600 homes in there, has awesome amenities. It's a lock and leave community like South Shore Bay is and like Valencia del Sol is. Um, but the, uh, the HOA um, is a bit more there. Um, you're looking anywhere between like 360 to 420, I believe it is. Sorry, 360 to 460 a month, depending on how big the home is and if you have a single family home or if you have a villa. Um, and both of them are gonna offer exterior maintenance. Um, you know, they're gonna have, um, if you've got a villa, it's gonna cover the roof and the exterior building maintenance too. Uh, but if you've got a single family home, you know, you're gonna have um, access to the clubhouse and you're gonna have uh, the gym and obviously the gated security. There's just different things in place and you get cable connected too. Um, so yeah, and it's really just about seeing what's best for you and your budget, but house prices here for resale homes can range anywhere from 250 right the way up to the 500s, depending on if you're in you know, how upgraded the home is, the size, if it's on a really nice pond lot. And it's called Valencia Lakes for a reason. There are huge lakes in here and it's just gorgeous. It's a really nice community. And Valencia, Sol, Valencia del Sol is being built adjacent to it, uh, but it is its own uh, community with its own deed restrictions. And although I do believe you can uh, drive through the two, um, I think that they are completely separate in the way that um, they are managed through the HOA. Uh, Valencia del Sol is a gas community and it has, uh, whereas the other two are electric uh, only. So that's just something to consider if you do like to cook at home. Uh, but with Valencia del Sol, that is where the new homes are. The GL homes, uh, you know, the same builder, but they have eight to 10 brand new models that have just opened. The clubhouse in Valencia del Sol isn't open yet. And I have done a separate video on Valencia del Sol, if you want to click on it um, in the comment section uh, underneath the video here. But, um, but yes, as you can see, it's got some gorgeous options uh, and homes um, throughout these, these video clips that I've got here. And I've tried to do some, um, you know, some, some just different rooms, different floor plans, and, and to give you a feel of, of all of the options, because there really are a ton of things um, that you can build. As this is a semi-custom builder, really. There's, there's very little that you cannot do or put in these homes. Um, so for that reason, uh, Valencia Lakes and Valencia del Sol is a little bit higher of a price point, both in house price and in the HOA fee every month. Um, but you know, all three of them are lock and leave communities um, that are maintenance free um, and they just offer different things. So my biggest advice is to 
be shown around, have a really good feel for Sun City, the various communities that are in there. Have a look at these 255 and up communities, which one's better for you, which one's better value, and, um, and really just see if, if this area is for you. I mean, I personally just think that there is no, nowhere better. I honestly think we're in the best part of Florida. I've been all over Florida, and I feel that like I'm in such a great spot where I am here. And, and you've got everything on your doorstep, you know. I mean, you may not want to be in such a retired community. You may want to look at a, a semi-retired or an area that has no deed restrictions whatsoever. You may want to be directly on the golf course. You, you know, there are so many options. But I promise you, affordable housing is right here. It is everywhere. Whatever you're looking for, you will find it. And listen, if you're not working with anyone, reach out to me directly. All of my contact information is below. I'll be more than happy to help. Like I said, I live right up the street. And, uh, and it's really just a case of showing you around and giving you a feel for this area and what you're looking for. So thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you've never come across one of my videos before, please like and comment um, and subscribe because you can then see more and more videos from me, yours truly. Thank you so much. Take care and uh, thank you for watching.